Um, Palm Tree Chapter 4, right? It's about the reactivity series. Uh, remember the please stop calling me a zebra in the library, you know, the list of metals. Um, but I'm not going to like do all the questions. So the simple one, I'll leave it for you. For example, you want to turn to page 16, uh, question 7. Okay, page 16, question 7. So at the meantime, right, I'll try to revise like the important parts. Um, you all stay on this page while I talk about the chapter. <clears throat> Okay, right, so the, the beginning of the chapter talks about elements and compound. Make sure you know how to differentiate elements means one type of atoms, they are the purest form. So like gold, silver, diamond, they exist as element because they are very stable materials. That means they don't easily mix with other people. They are okay with themselves. That's why they exist as single. So compound are more than one type together so uh, they are very unstable that's why they find partner uh, to become stable okay that's why we call compound so then the next experiment to talk about is your calcium carbonate experiment i try to like mention important things on here so we always say compound is like more than one type but we have to prove right so to prove this your textbook gives you an experiment to test calcium carbonate Okay, so to test calcium carbonate that it consists of three things, calcium, carbon, oxygen. But we already know is that three things, right? But just that we want to prove it. So hence, we have these two experiment, okay, which is the one uh, that goes with acid, okay, and the other one, which is to heat up, to burn the test tube, I mean to burn the calcium carbonate. So there's two, one is acid, one is heating. Okay, then on the right side, we have lime water. So lime water is to test the presence of CO2, if you remember. Lah, huh? But if you don't try to remember it now, if there is CO2, it releases CO2 and then it turns cloudy. Lime water originally is colorless, so no color, but it turns cloudy. That's the proof that uh, we have carbon dioxide. Okay, so like we try out the example, so you want to Turn to this page, uh, page 16, question number 7. Okay, have a quick check. Calcium carbonate, and then heated. Uh, there you go, this is the, this is the heated uh, experiment. Okay, uh, then we have lime water. First thing first, state three elements found in, I have to remember who are they. La, huh? So the word itself is already the answer though, like you have calcium, you have carbon, you have eight, which is oxygen. So you have three, uh, three types of elements. Uh. So calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Okay, that's the component of the elements. Okay, boom, easy. Okay, uh. okay next question. State the gas that is tested with lime water. Okay, so lime water is this. Uh, yeah. No, I circled the wrong thing. This, so remember, lime water is to test. Uh, so this is the experiment where you want to prove carbon dioxide. Okay, to test CO2. So very simple, we will just write to test uh, the presence of CO2 or you can just straight away state the gas which is CO2. Okay. Right, next one. Explain how the test for the gas how okay um two marks some more that means we have to explain how you carry out the process so we will heat up the metals right so the gas release uh, will pass through the tube and go to the lime water so how to do it well i'm 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 letting the gas to go over to the other side that's your first point not like to pass through or to allow the flow of gas something like that that's your first point second point you must mention the color change or the result. So then your second point goes to lime water turns cloudy. Okay, so make it straightforward. Nothing too fancy. So I would say flow the gas into lime water. Yeah, or pass the gas through the tube into the lime water, something like that. Okay, 
And then second answer is about color change. So what? The line water turns. Okay, something very straightforward. So try to focus on your marks and think of how you should get your points. Yeah, I think I mentioned this almost every class. Right? And, you know, develop your own way of writing. Uh. But simple and straightforward. Okay, like, all good, right? Let's get to D. Uh. Complete the word equation for the reaction between calcium carbonate and... Oh... Wow, suddenly change experiment leh. What was the other one? This one. This one. We have two, remember? Calcium carbonate heat, which is the current experiment. And then the other one is calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Okay? And question is asking for not even the whole equation. So good leh, I give you half leh, you just have to fill up the rest leh, but do you know what is the other one? Okay, this one leh, you have to go back to your book and read la is here la your textbook or my book or whichever reference book. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's correct. Of your dose is your answer, not bad, not bad. Okay, so we have calcium carbonate and acid, right? Calcium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. So it, it's sort of like to memorize one. Uh, okay, so like carbon dioxide and water. Even the hardest one already provided here. Quite good. Calcium, calcium, hydrochloric, chloride. Then the hydro comes from hilo. The carbon dioxide comes from carbonyl. Okay. Yeah, just try to memorize that uh, because it's, uh, it's very uh, straightforward. Okay, good. That is the first experiment in your chapter 4. Calcium carbonate or limestone experiment. So we are here to prove there is carbon oxygen and also there is calcium okay good okay like i think we move on to the next one okay after calcium carbonate experiment the next one will be reactivity series experiment okay please stop calling me a zebra in the library Call me sexy girl. I mean, if you're a boy, call me swiker. Swiker means handsome boy lah in Mandarin. Lah. Okay, must remember the sequence because this is reactivity towards oxygen. Whoever is on top means more reactive. Okay, whoever is below means not reactive. Whoever is in the middle, like meh, in between. Okay, right? So this is reactivity towards oxygen so that we can find out the position of the list. Uh, like we know which metal is uh, more reactive and which one is lesser. Okay, now how, how do we know if it's more reactive? Uh, we look at the, the reaction, we look at the, the burning of the metal. If it burns very bright, then we know it's higher on top. Okay, if we know uh, if we the reaction is not so reactive, then probably not burning anymore. It's just glow uh, like that. Uh, no fire. Okay, uh, you'll still have the idea of this table, right? Then the experiment is a very special experiment where the test tube is horizontal. I, I would say in this chapter, the only one you have uh, like that. Okay, uh, okay, so your ingredient, not to say like your ingredient, your your substance that you need. Uh. We need the metal powder, obviously. Okay. And then where is the oxygen? The oxygen comes from potassium manganate. Remember, right? We burn potassium manganate to supply oxygen. So oxygen will flow over, touches the metal, and bim boom bam. It turns into metal oxide. Okay. Uh. We try out the work at the same time. Okay. Like, but this question, right? I need to, I need to jump quite far away to page 19, uh, question 10. Page 19, question 10. Okay, see the horizontal uh, 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 list, I mean the horizontal uh, test tube that we have. Okay, uh, let's just quick check if everything is okay, like yeah, okay, potassium manganate, uh, and then metal powder, those are our main ingredients. Uh, uh okay cool okay nothing different okay so like a what is the aim of the experiment so aim uh for a very long time we did not follow like the 
the formats of experiment. Do you remember what is this? Huh? Aim. The starting is always to study the right that kind of stuff. So what are we trying to study here? We want to study reactivity towards oxygen. Right. We want to uh, see if they reactive or not reactive. So that's to that's the aim. Uh, we want to find out. Okay. So there you go. The starting is always like that. Yeah. Okay. Manipulated variable. Wow, this one is this one should be in museum though. Your primary school stuff. But anyway, you still get some of the question in secondary. Manipulated in Mandarin. Chao Zhong Xing Bian Zhu. Or things that you are changing here or things that you are testing here. Hmm. What are we testing though? I am trying different metals, right? Like some metals go crazy, some metals like meh, I'm not interested in oxygen. So that will be your manipulator. So yes, correct. Uh, it should be type of metals. Okay, type of metals. We want to see if the metals change, will my result change? So therefore, the next question, which is asking for responding, then it makes much more sense now, right? So what is the result? The result is see how crazy you are. Lo. Some very crazy, some not crazy. How do we say? Uh? That's called the reactivity of metals. Okay, reactivity. What is constant variable? Mm. Things must not change. Things must be fixed. No matter what metal I use, something should not change. And when you change this thing, it will affect the experiment. Uh, it, it will not be the apparatus, it will be the things that we use, the, the material that we use. And it's always measurable. If there is a constant variable, uh, constant variable, it should be measurable. So uh, it should be mass or quantity of metal. That means what metal, never mind. But the powder, uh, the amount uh, must be the same. So that's correct, mass of metal. Uh, temperature, get on. Okay, all good. Wow, this list is really from museum. Huh? Long time ago, primary stuff. Okay, die. What is the function of potassium, manganese, crystal? Okay, la la la. What was that again? You see, we can't, we can't get pure oxygen from the air because the air consists only 21%, right? So the oxygen doesn't react with the metal. No, you can't wait for the oxygen in the air. That's too little. So we need potassium manganese crystals to release pure oxygen, higher concentration of oxygen. Then that will react. Okay. Uh, so that's the function. It's, it's, it's fixed. Uh. I would say if you don't want to understand it, right, you memorize the answer then can help. But of course, it's a very simple thing to understand. La. Potassium manganese to supply oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, potassium is to supply oxygen. Okay. Okay. Like D, which substance needs to be heated first? Oh. Needs to be heated first. Metal powder? Oh, potassium manganese. That's your first question. Number two, explain. Okay, like I think I think I wrote here before with you also. Oh there, 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 there. look at the number. Who should you heat up first? Okay, we heat up metal powder first. You want to wake up the metal powder. Like, wait, wake up. Wake up. Got pretty girl here ready. Are you ready to, to react with uh, to talk to the pretty girl? Wait, wake up, a handsome boy here ready. Are you ready to talk to the handsome boy? So you have to wake up the metal so that the metal can react with the oxygen. Okay, so it must be hot enough to react. So the first is this, then only you follow by potassium. So the first answer is metal powder or potassium. Okay, so of course, metal powder. Boom. Straightforward. Uh, second question. Why? Why must you heat up? Oh, you have to wake up. Hello, wake up to react. Don't sleep anymore. Okay, your, your crush is here. Your dream girl, your dream boy is here. We wake up. Don't miss the chance. Uh, wake up. You want to make sure that it is hot enough to react. 
uh, wake up, make your hair, spray some perfume ready to, to talk to her or you know, be ready. Don't wake up with messy hair and don't know what to talk about. Okay, uh, like next one. Sometimes, uh, sometimes reading the book uh, or reading uh, whatever textbook, my book or like even reference book, right? It's very different from doing work one. When you do exercise, then you realize, oh, question can ask like that one. Oh, oh I need to answer things that, you know, so spend some time doing work as well. All the empty questions that I not, did not do with you are previously or even now the revision material, please do it. Okay. Okay. Like, what is the name of the metal oxide that is yellow when hot, white when cold? Okay. La, this one, a bit lebe this question, so uh, you can exclude this, uh, but just to let you know, that's zinc uh, oxide. The, the color is yellow when it's hot, uh, white when cold. It's okay, uh, I don't think you probably won't see this question in exam. Okay, number F, word equation, metal powder and oxygen. Oh, they get together, they want to marry each other already. Metal and oxygen. Okay, like very simple equation, yeah. Did they mention what metal? No way. Okay, just just leave it as metal powder. Okay, as it is. Metal powder. Uh, no, like just write metal lah. Huh? Okay, let's not write metal powder. Let's just write metal plus oxygen arrow heat. Okay. And your answer is metal. They got together already. Yeah, they formed into a compound now. They were element. But you will never find them as element because they always find a partner, right? Okay. Why there is no reaction between gold and oxygen? So you'll be waking gold up like, wait, gold. She's here there. Wait, she's here there. Then the girl wake up like, Yo, I want to sleep. La. Why? Who? Who is she? Che, I want to sleep. La. Ah, not interested. Right? Because go ah, is the lowest in the list. Ah. That means least reactive towards oxygen. Like not interested at all. Yeah, at all, like not interested. Okay, Che, what's so special about this person? Ah, normal, ah, not interested. Okay, that means goal is not reactive or unreactive, another word for that. Mm, not interested. Okay, why magnesium was not found naturally as ah, oh, the same question I said just now. You will never find everything in the list except for silver and gold naturally. Whenever you find everything in the list, it is already with someone else. Ay, why everyone is with someone else? You never find both. Uh, you will never find magnesium alone one lah. Okay uh. Now, like I said just now, all of them are very reactive. Uh. They react with other elements very easily. But silver and gold uh, are those that like, ah, uh, who? I want to sleep. Uh, uh, that kind. Okay? So, two marks. Uh. No, one mark only. Uh. Okay, then very simple. We will just say that magnesium is very reactive. They combine with someone else. You always see metals with someone else. So, first of all, metal is a reactive metal. Easily form a compound. Okay? Okay, uh, good. Okay. That's your second experiment. Oh, good. Okay, like we move on to the next type. Huh? So after the reactivity series, you go into, oh, the next story is the Spana, the girlfriend one, to take the girlfriend, come back. So this is the beginning, uh, like million years ago. Million years ago, okay? Uh, oxygen found uh, a met metals then they got together a million years ago they got married da, 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 da. then let's fast forward to million years later now we human want to separate them okay yeah, yeah we want to separate them so uh then that's the next story lah, which is 
this one. Ta da! The reactivity series metal, but we add on the position of carbon and the position of hydrogen because those are the two agents that we use to spun out a girlfriend, to take the girlfriend away. You all get the idea. I just want to make a story so you could understand better. Okay, so you all know the position of carbon, right? Between aluminium and zinc. Okay, uh, and then hydrogen is between zinc and iron. Okay, so, 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 then uh, we have two experiments here. Number one is carbon experiment. Literally just burn carbon and metal oxides. So the carbon will actually go spana the girlfriend, which is oxide. They will go together. Then the metal is left alone. Uh. This is how you spun out the girlfriend, uh, for example. Okay, right? Um, we'll, we'll do along the way and we'll come back if we need to. So you want to, okay, this one I have to reverse. You want to turn to page 17. Uh. Question eight, everybody, page 17. Um, okay, like, let's check. We have metal oxide and carbon. <laughs> they were together for a million years already, uh, the age of dinosaur until today, you know? But now, me, as human, I want to grab the metal and sell. But the oxide is there to cut uh. I ask carbon to spawn the oxide, right? Because oxygen and carbon was couple even long time ago, before, before oxide got with metal. Uh. So this is the X. Uh. I'm asking the X to spawn the oxide so I can take the metal and sell and make money. That's how we extract all the metals from earth crust. Okay, so like why the mixture of metal oxide and carbon must be heated? I just put two of this powder straight away in the bigger, nothing happened, man. Cannot, man. Cannot. If you put them just like that without the fire, nothing will happen. If it happens, uh, then no need the experiment really low, right? Things will happen naturally on earth crust, why? But the thing is, we need to heat up. Okay. The reason you want to heat up is because when you give them heat, reaction can take place. When it's cold, reaction doesn't take place. Okay, yeah. so must be hot enough. Two marks. Number one, make sure the mixture is hot enough so that the reaction can occur, causing metal to be displaced from oxygen. Mm. So that it's hot enough so that the reaction can take place, metal can be kicked out from oxygen. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Let's write the equation, shall we? Metal oxide plus carbon also. Carbon is here to spana the girlfriend. Huh? Carbon went to spana oxide. So who is alone now? After carbon and oxygen together, metal is alone. Yay, that's what I want. I want to sell. Uh. I want this metal to sell. Then who is together now? The ex, the ex boyfriend uh, came and got the oxide away. So carbon dioxide. That's correct. So carbon dioxide goes together, and then I will take the metal and sell. Okay, uh, does the story make sense? Like makes much more sense to you. Try to remember that way lah. Uh, then not so, not so boring, not so confusing. Uh. So uh, that's how we extract metals in real life. Okay, there is also part of the metal oxide does not show any, what? There is part of the metal oxide that does not show any changes. Means what? Means, huh? okay, example, example. This is all the metal powder and carbon. When I heat up, right? oh, it looks like a lips. When I heat up, right? The whole thing should have reaction. Mana tau, ah. Now, got one part, nothing happened. Okay, let's just assume the blue color part. No reaction. Meh, I don't care. Only this part has reaction. Okay, yeah? that's the question, yeah? Okay, can okay, okay. Why? Hmm. Then, uh, I think, I think, I think, this is not just one type of metal oxide. Just someone asked the question so now, what if metal is more reactive than carbon? Uh, I think you all get what I'm trying to say. 
I think the blue color part that is no reaction must be a metal oxide that is higher than carbon. Do you all get what I mean? Okay, so I suspect that this is not just one metal oxide, there's other metal oxide, okay? So let's say, let's say I have iron oxide and magnesium oxide mixture. So this oxide itself consists of two oxides and then plus carbon. So carbon only managed to spawn out the girlfriend from iron. Wing! Then carbon tries to spawn out this one. Uh. Cannot. Cannot. Like. Uh, uh, cannot. Uh, uh, bro, cannot. Then carbon come back and tell me, hey bro, cannot. I only managed to spawn out one. The other one is magnesium, eh? More handsome, eh? Taller than me, eh? More money and richer, eh, for example, lah, okay? Do you all get it? I think part of the metal oxide that is no changes must be a metal that is higher than carbon. Wow, this question, ah, very pattern, ah. Okay, you all get the idea? <laughs> First question, we, I mean, first answer, we will say that the metals in the metal oxide, some of them, maybe one of them, is more reactive than carbon. If it's more reactive than carbon, unable, uh, cannot separate, cannot spawn out of carbon. Okay, uh, can uh, you understand the question? Uh? A, bit, a bit tricky, a bit pattern. Uh. But this, this question itself tests that if you understand like higher than cannot, lower than can because the question says no changes means higher reactivity okay we shall go to d Alrighty, question d everybody explain why magnesium reacts more vigorously or oh, of course oh, magnesium reacts more vigorously with oxygen compared to lead with oxygen eh, eh why suddenly the previous topic one do you know what the topic is about we're, we're back to a million years ago where magnesium found oxygen, then they get together, and then lead found oxygen, then lead was like, I like you, but like, uh, we, we can just be friends at the moment, you know, that kind. So why magnesium like, whoa, get with oxygen straight away. But then lead is like, slowly. Now, that has to do with the reactivity, right? Magnesium is reactive, oh? lead is meh. Okay. Ah. Ah, so like one mark, right? Oh no, or two marks. So. Okay, so first thing first, we will say magnesium is higher in the list. The position is higher, first point. Second point, therefore magnesium reacts with oxygen or therefore magnesium is more reactive compared to the first point, higher position in the list. Second, more reactive than the if it's just one mark, uh, then you'll just write the second sentence. More reactive than lead, full stop. But because of two marks, we have to break down into two points. Uh, all right? Okay, that is Spana girlfriend matter number one. I keep saying this will I like cause uh, like improper actions or will I cause like a different thinking into you? No, right? You'll get that. Uh, is, is this an example? Disclaimer, is this an example for you to remember? I didn't mean to like sexist or what, okay? It could be the other way around. Okay, the second experiment will be the hydrogen. Do you remember? Let me show you. Boom. Okay, hydrogen is between zinc. Is this one step lower, like everybody? Try to remember carbon first. After you remember carbon, then you just go one step lower. That has to be hydrogen. Ah. Okay, so hydrogen between zinc and iron. Hydrogen also can spawn out oxygen. One, ah. Oh, not bad. Ah. Can. Hydrogen can uh, combine with oxygen to displace the metal away. So, yeah. Here we are. And you all still recall the weird looking experiment, right? Okay, uh, let's see what we need. Lah. We will come back. Uh, please continue with page 17, question number nine. Let's check if everything is all right. Acid, okay. Mm, zinc, okay, that's, that's the reaction you want to carry out. 
uh, metal react with acid, it releases hydrogen. Oh, is that the answer already? Yo, that's the answer, everybody. Gas X is hydrogen. True or false? Obviously, true. Okay, hydrogen. Then, uh, the hydrogen have to go through R. You know what's R? R is called the very difficult spelling. And hydrous calcium chloride, the, the function is to absorb water moisture uh, from the gas because uh, if the moist hydrogen reacts with the metal and the air in the test tube, again, dangerous explosion can happen. Okay, okay. So anyway, let's continue. Uh, R is anhydrous calcium hydro. What? Anhydrous calcium hydro. Anhydrous calcium. Ah, uh, Okay, want to act like another one. So it's claw. Right. So it's a false statement. Anhydrous calcium chloride. Okay, that's to absorb the moisture. Okay. Explain the use of R in the experiment. Okay, like very simple. And hydrous calcium chloride is to I think your first answer is here. Okay, can I, to absorb uh water moisture uh, in hydrogen gas. Okay, all good. Like uh second mark. Uh that means you have to explain a bit. Lah. Less you want to absorb, then then what? Absorb for what? Okay. So like I mentioned just now. If you don't absorb the water moisture, uh, the, the moist hydrogen uh, goes into the tube, right? Reacts with the maybe the air, maybe the metal and stuff like that, then uh, explosion can happen. So the second point we want to say like prevent you know explosion, but in a in a in a in a more well, better way. To prevent explosion caused by the uh, combustion of X, which is hydrogen with the air. Okay, so there's a second point. Okay, I have to remember that, memorize a bit, yeah? What is observed when copper sulfate, oh, sorry, this one I think is a typo, should be copper two oxide. Okay, uh, so what is observed when copper oxide is heated? Uh, copper oxide, uh, that means this is copper oxide. We ask hydrogen to spana the graphene. What happened? Okay, remember, yeah, the lower you are in the list, the brighter you become. You see all this like burns brightly, la, not very crazy, although it's iron, you know. But when copper is so low in the list, uh, copper is so low in the list, uh, it makes a lot of difference. So the reaction will be very big. Okay, it, okay, it's like, it's like the two smartest person in your class, uh, uh, science uh, get 95 and 93. They sit together. Is it very obvious? Like both of them so good. Meh. The competition is meh. But when you have the highest in the class, uh, 95 for science, and the lowest, uh, 15, for example, sit together. Wow, very obvious. Uh. The 95 and the 15, that's a very big gap. You understand? The bigger the gap you are, the more obvious. So I'm trying to give you story. La. Of course, that's not the way. The further you are from each other, the bigger the gap you have, the bigger the reaction you have. So so you all want to write this down. La. Uh, here. Burns very brightly. Something like that, if you could uh, explain that. Uh, there you go. Burns very brightly. Okay, right. Next one. Complete the following chemical equation. Okay, we have copper oxide already, which is the main character. We want to spana, right? Who is the person to spana today? See, uh, you know what is going on, right? Yeah, for your experiment, uh, you are hiring hydrogen to spana. So who's the first one that should be? Hydrogen. Okay, and then what's the result? So the result turns into copper alone and oxide and hydrogen together become water because uh, you can understand in such way water is H2O. So there is H, there is O. So hydrogen and oxide together become water, then copper is alone. Okay, can I? 
uh, so uh, from here you form a lot of water vapor i show you from here it forms like dot 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 i think we draw last time uh, so that's that's the product okay uh, like okay like next one um blah, 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 oh these are the sequence okay to become more reactive okay like state the position of gas so where's hydrogen uh? hydrogen position you remember no? hydrogen is oh i don't remember hydrogen but i remember carbon carbon is between a and z hydrogen is one step lower so zinc lower so it's between zinc and iron right between zinc and iron ah that's how you explain so it's between z n and f e z n and f e okay Okay, so um, like, what will happen if copper oxide is replaced by aluminum? Ooh, aluminum, guys. What happened if copper oxide replaced with aluminum? Copper, because currently it's doing copper, right? If we replace with aluminum, do you think hydrogen can spawn out aluminum's girlfriend? Quite straightforward, everybody. Do you think hydrogen can spawn? Bana aluminium's girlfriend. How can you go after someone who is better, right? Uh, aluminium is better. So answer is no. Lah. Okay. And then oh uh, sorry, not no, like what happened? Uh, no reaction happens. But I'm trying to say like uh no, it doesn't happen, okay? It does not extract that way. Then explain your answer, okay? It's a very standard answer. You always explain why cannot because aluminium is higher reactivity than uh, the hydrogen right so therefore cannot uh, be reduced by hydrogen uh, I reckon it's a two marks question uh, should be okay aluminium more reactive one mark cannot reduce by hydrogen or hydrogen is unable to reduce uh, aluminium from oxide always there's many ways to write so I think we call it a night okay Keep it up guys, continue your revision, goodbye and see you next week.